Hi boys and girls and welcome to third through fifth grade Bible activities. I'm Lisa and I am here in the Noah's Ark Conference Room at Our Savior's Lutheran Church and I am happy that you have joined me today. Today we are going to uh, find in our Bibles, hope you've got your Bible with you already, uh, the story that we're looking at is about Zacchaeus. And maybe you know this story without even looking it up in your Bible or reading it, but I do want you to know where it is. We're talking today about tax collectors. And this was a job that was uh, probably pretty popular in the time of Jesus. And I'm wondering, why does the Bible bring up tax collectors? Why is that one job that we hear about maybe more than some other ones? Um, so, look at my big blunder here. The story of Zacchaeus is in Luke 19, that's the big number 19, starting at verse 1 and going through verse 10. I would like you to find that in your Bibles right now. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and do so. And hopefully you have found Luke 19 on page 1158. Here is the story of Zacchaeus, who was a short man, but his job was he was a tax collector. And in those days, the tax collectors were hated by everyone. They did not like the fact that there were Jewish people that were working for the Romans. The tax collector's job was to collect money from everybody and send it to Rome, which was really, really far away, actually. And they felt like the tax collectors were traitors because they were taking from the Jews and serving the Romans. So people really resented paying the taxes to the foreigners as well. They were under foreign rule and they didn't really like that. Uh, if you can, put your finger in Luke 19 and turn to the back of your Bible where these special maps are. And the maps are numbered M, and then they go in order, M, 1, 2, 3, like that. And I want you to turn to M12 and M13. This is what it looks like. And I want you to notice that here is Jerusalem, way over here. And far across this Mediterranean Sea, far, far over to the left side of your map is where Rome is in Italy. So here's Rome way over here, Jerusalem way back over here. Do you kind of see why people might not have liked the fact that they were under this Roman rule? The Romans were so far away from them, they didn't really know what was happening in their country, or maybe how to rule those people fairly um, and effectively. So uh, that's one reason that they didn't like being under the Roman rule. So back to Luke 19, our story about Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was dishonest and he abused his power. And I'll tell you why he did these two things. The Romans wanted their tax money but they didn't pay the tax collectors to do this job. So the only way that the tax collectors could get paid was to kind of collect more than they should have and keep that extra amount for themselves. And that's how they got their money. And the Romans said, fine, do it. Charge people too much and keep the rest for yourself. We don't care. So another reason to both dislike the tax collectors and the Romans. And what happened, of course, was that the tax collectors took too much money. They took abuse or they abused that power. They took way too much. They were very greedy and they kind of worked the system. These were all reasons that they were really not well liked at all. And I think you can kind of understand why. The tax collectors actually were very rich because of all that money that they took for themselves. 
So that was another thing. Some people were struggling to, you know, have enough food for their family or to um, be able to live and the tax collectors were making big money off of them. So um, one of the things that happened then was Jesus was coming to the place where Zacchaeus was and Zacchaeus wanted to see him. But the crowds were gathered along the street and Zacchaeus being a very short man could not see over the top of the crowds at all. And when he tried to excuse himself and say, excuse me, excuse me, could I get through? What do you suppose the people's reaction was? They looked at Zacchaeus, who they did not like at all, and they said, get out of here, go away. We were here first, you know, that kind of a reaction. So what did Zacchaeus do? He found a tree and he climbed up in the tree so that he could see everything that was happening. Lo and behold, what did Jesus do when he got to that tree? Jesus stopped and said, come down here. I'm going to your house for dinner. Well, this made the people very mad. The Jewish people who hated Zacchaeus thought to themselves, why is Jesus choosing this horrible sinner to have dinner with and to go visit him in his home when there are so many good people like us? righteous people who do the right thing every day. And so that was just another thing that happened. The tax collectors were like evil robbers. They were not good people. And here Jesus chose Zacchaeus, that tax collector, to have dinner with that day. Uh, boys and girls, there's another story about a tax collector. Uh, the Jews were supposed to go to the temple three times every day and pray. And their custom was to stand while they prayed. So a Pharisee stood up to pray, and as he praised, he or as he prayed, he said things like this: I have done all good things. I have fasted and tithed like our laws tell us to do. I am not like those evil tax collectors. At the same time as this Pharisee was praising himself, not really praying to God, but telling God, I'm such a good guy, a tax collector was there. He was very humble and he bent his head down and he actually beat his chest. That was a way of showing that he was sorry and he prayed to God and said, I know that I am a sinner and I need your forgiveness, God. Please forgive me. So who was the person that really prayed to God and probably received God's mercy because of that humble way of asking? It was the tax collector. God loved the tax collector even though he had done bad things. Uh, there are a couple other stories. One is where Jesus chooses Matthew, who was a tax collector, Matthew to be one of his disciples. And the people were saying, what? He's choosing that bad guy? And that bad guy, Matthew, left everything and followed Jesus. This is a story that tells us that Jesus loves everyone, no matter how bad you are or what you have done, God is there ready to forgive you and loves you all the time. Um, that those stories that you would find um, about Matthew, the tax collector being chosen, these are the books that those stories are in. And then there's one more story in Romans where uh, this is a letter that Paul wrote to the Romans. And he says, um, you should pay your taxes. You should pay the Romans what they get. So it's give to the authority what the authority should get, but then also um, give to God what is God's. And so that the praise and the worship should go to God 
and not those Roman leaders, not the authorities. So those are just some things in your Bible about tax collectors. I hope you've learned something maybe new about the tax collectors. Um, I also want to tell you that in the story of Zacchaeus, at the end, Zacchaeus says that Jesus' visit to his house just turned him completely around. He became an honest man. He did not collect too much taxes anymore. He paid people back what he had overcharged them. And so Zacchaeus was able to turn his life around and show the people that he was not as bad as they thought he was um, just because Jesus showed him some attention. Jesus visited him and was his friend, and that was enough to make him a better man. So if you have a chance, read that story of Zacchaeus that you've got your Bible open to. Give yourself a sticker there so that you know you've read that. And remember that there is nothing that you have done that is so bad or nothing that you have said or or you know worried about or whatever in your life that God does not forgive. He always loves you and he always forgives you. Thanks boys and girls. See you next time.